He a six foot one, 175 pounds. Handle business on the court, he don't play around. Throw your best D at him, watch him break it down. Responsible for hanging banners up, they can't take him down. You think last year was the problem? Oh, we worse than I. See, last year he was hungry, but he thirsty now. Ready to drink up, he don't even need a cup. When talking Mr. Basketball, keep it so they bring up. Feel. He the best in the state, won the city in the states. And one year, mention one name, they show fear. I'm talking happening, teams trash trapping them. You can bring your whole squad, still ain't I'm no stopping them. Yeah, he's a pro, that's why everybody watching them. Just ask Kalamazoo, they got 49 drop on them. Real recognized, real, and I can vouch for him. Tell David Stern to send all NBA scouts for him. Truth be told, he committed to Izzo. As a sophomore, he graduated 21 0. That mean he get one more Yeah, the gold rockin' that sweet blue and gold Watch him go between the legs and he take it to the hole Jumping high for the door, better look out below Oh, on the block, don't try it It's a bird, it's a plane, it's the choice, Kobe Bryant You can call him better, Mr. Seven Mile and Ryan Court vision of a hawk, in the heart of a lion Got strength like the hawk, you can tell by the walk He the truth and he had his game to talk Detroit Pershing point guard Keith Appling cemented himself in the history books at last year's state championship game. Avenging 2008's loss to Saginaw in the big game, Appling led the Doughboys to their first state title since 1993, and he did it by scoring 49 points, establishing a new MHSAA Finals record. The Doughboys were now city champs and state champs. One of six kids and born and raised on the east side of the city, basketball has always been a staple in Keith's life. In fact, his grandfather Frank Appleseed Appling was once a member of the famed Harlem Globetrotters. Keith has always had just one love. Coach Canada knows what a competitor he has. He recalls when former Persian great guard Charles Lesur stopped by practice. And we were doing a drill one day, and uh, first person scored the basket won. So Charles Lesur is a grown man, and in order for Charles to get to the basket, he would have had to he, he would have had to go through Keith. Well, just so you know, he never got to the basket. Following Keith's sophomore season, the official courting of Keith began. But a year earlier, he was already on this man's radar. A startled Appling met MSU's head honcho. I was at algebra and um, Tom Izzo and uh, Dwight Stevens, he came, they came to my class and introduced themselves. And from that point on, I mean, we just grew, we just grew a bond, you know? we grew a liking. Despite offers from some of the best programs in the nation, Keith will follow in the tradition of former Doughboy and Olympic Dream Teamer Steve Smith and play for the Spartans. Growing up, that's, Michigan State was the only team I watched, you know. They, they, play, they play my style of play and, and all the guards, all the good guards that come through there go to the league and that's one of the things I'm trying to do. A 3.3 GPA and a member of the National Honor Society, Keith is averaging 27 points a game, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, and 3 steals for the number one ranked team in the state. He was just named to the All-American team. Who knows? Perhaps I'll interview a young athlete in the future who'll say he wants to be like Keith Appling one day. Oh, it's been a lot of fun playing with Keith and just letting our relationship grow. Yeah, he ain't nowhere near where he's going to be. And a lot of people don't know where he's headed, but I know where he's headed. Oh, he's headed to the top. You know, I know that for sure. Um, 
he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. You know, a lot of people don't talk about him at the point guard, but you know, I think he's one of the point guards in the nation. And soon, even if it's not this year, he'll be recognized. Hey, I'm, I'm excited. And, uh, you know, I'm just I'm looking forward to what, what the future has in store for me. All the things that you know, I'm going through in this process that I've already been through there in Michigan State, you know, so it, it made this whole thing, you know, a lot more easier than I can say. It would have been the size of any other university. If I look at Keith Apple, I mean, I, I think what he brings is some toughness. To me, it feels like I'm still just playing the game. But, uh, I mean, it, it, in, in all reality, it, it is a job interview, you know, so, I mean, every workout that I go into, you know, I just try to be the best person I possibly be, could be and um, just try to perform to the maximum of my ability. Still, he's one of the quickest, fastest athletes. He's uh, very strong and tough. And at one time, he was a very good shooter. And he just lost a little bit of that. But uh, you don't forget how to shoot, it'll come back. I've been playing basketball my whole life. And um, I mean, it just come naturally to me. But you know, as far as you know, all the important people that is in the gym at the same time and pretty much evaluating your know, every move, I mean that I mean it, it kind of adds a whole other element to the whole workout process. But um, up to this point, I can say every every workout that I've been to, it's been nothing but fun. Um, a lot of things they uh they like my uh, defensive intensity, and um, you know a lot of people. Feel like I, uh, I'm shooting the ball better than you know they expected because of what happened to my hand and, and whatnot. And the injury hurt him, set him back, but it's not an injury that's going to affect him for life. It's just an injury that unfortunately hit him halfway through the season. At that halfway point, he was an MVP candidate of the Big Ten. There were some pretty good players in the league this past year. Yeah, I'm just trying to continue to, to perform better at each workout. I feel like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and um, you only get to go through this process once. So, you know, I'm just trying to make the most of it. Um, I've been watching the draft since I was a little kid. And, um, you know, it would be like a dream come true to hear my name called on draft. Like that. You know, Keith had really was having a great year. Then he got hurt and it kind of it really hurt him because he couldn't shoot the ball nearly as well. But. Um, He's a guy that, uh, you know, like early in the year, he was a guy that was moving up the draft boards in a lot of areas. And so, you know, over the next month, you know, what he ends up doing is going to really have a huge, uh, what's going to happen with him in his future, you know, NBA-wise drafted or whatever. Um. With the ninth NBA D-League Gatorade call of the season, the Orlando Magic signed Keith Appling of the Erie Bayhawks. That's just a nice pass. A play beautifully run for Keith Appling. I always dreamed of playing in the NBA. I feel like everyone's journey is a little different, and I know sooner or later my time is going to come. Two on one. Doesn't give it up and scores. The D-League is a great stage to showcase my talent in, as well as get better. It's a blessing to even be here and, and to even be playing in this, in this league. Now down to three, Appling. The dagger. Appling is averaging over 16 points per game, leading the Bayhawks in scoring assists and steals. Gets a little hand back to Appling, goes in and scores on the dunk. You see this story about this guy? I mean, it's been out for a couple days or whatever, but the former, uh, didn't he play at, Michigan State, uh, Keith Appling, is that about right? I think he did. Uh, anyway, former college star, currently NBA D-League, has been charged with multiple gun charges for allegedly breaking out uh, loaded weapons at a strip club in Michigan. He played at Michigan State from uh, 2010 to 2014. Uh, he was at the strip club in Michigan, and uh, he pulled a gun out of his trunk, People call the cops. Cops show up. He's in the driver's seat. They search the car. They found a handgun, and then they found a loaded AK-47 assault rifle in his trunk. Now he's facing several crimes, including uh, felony concealed weapon carrying, a possession of a loaded firearm in a vehicle, and also weed possession. 
If convicted on all counts, he faces up to eight years in prison, and uh, it's just a nightmare for Keith Appling. Night By former Michigan State basketball player Keith Appling has been arrested again. Yeah, 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafay joins us now live with an update. Nima. Yeah, Malcolm and Alicia, Detroit police are uh, investigating this most recent arrest after Appling was pulled over just after 9 o'clock last night. Please tell me in the area of Orleans and State Fair. That's when he tried to flee from police throwing a handgun out of his car, the 2013 D blue Dodge Challenger that he was riding in. If this is, uh, it seems like deja vu, it's because it feels like it is. This is his third arrest in recent months. He's facing felony charges as a result of the most recent traffic stop that is last night by Detroit police. He is behind bars this morning. We know that Appling is accused of driving away from the officer while the officer's arm still inside his car. The news coming from police is that officer involved was not injured in any way and also despite other reports he was not dragged at all. He's accused of throwing that gun out of the car. We're also told by police there were no drugs inside his vehicle either which is a, a, a change from the past when he had that assault rifle and he was also found with drugs. We will continue to follow the story. This is still developing again. Appling was back in court this morning just hours after being released from jail. 7 Action News reporter Shelly Childers was in the courtroom today. Keith Appling is heading back to jail after the judge increases the bond on his first two cases. In court, we spoke with his attorney, who's not happy. I've been in these courthouse for 45 years, and I've never seen this done like this before, ever. So this is, this is specialized attention for a specialized person. Otis Culpepper says his client, former MSU basketball star Keith Appling, is being penalized for being a professional athlete. Just hours after he was released from jail on bond for his third criminal charge this year, Appling faced more repercussions. Prosecutors called him back to court on claims he violated bond conditions on his first two cases by continuing to run into the law. So we now have three uh, criminal cases involving firearms occurring in less than four months. And the current bond as set in these cases, uh, people believe is woefully inadequate given this defendant's actions and behavior while on bond. Appling was first arrested May 2nd, charged with carrying a concealed weapon. He made bail and was released. He was arrested again June 18th for similar charges. He made bail a second time and was released. Today, the judge had seen enough, saying Appling was in fact violating the terms of his bond. The bond conditions really aren't that difficult to follow. The judge increased bond on both the May and June cases to $50,000 each. He is allowed to make bail by posting 10%, which comes out to $10,000. The judge also ordered a GPS tether, keeping him at home at night. Appling may never play professional basketball again. The former Michigan State basketball player is back in jail, and yes, it's another case involving a gun. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us live with both sides of his latest arrest. Kim, is Appling still locked up right now? Yes, Carolyn. Keith Appling remains in jail. He remained in jail all day today. He was actually arrested last night. And one of the many questions now is could this third arrest have a judge revoking his bond or setting it even higher? It's my understanding that the police the officer stopped him as a result of the fact that he was supposed to have had tinted windows. Keith Abling arrested again. It began around 9-10 last night, and Detroit police say they did not stop him near Russell on East 7 Mile for the tinted windows, but rather because they spotted Appling's 2013 Dodge Challenger making a turn without using his signal. When the officers approached the vehicle, they did observe a strong smell of what appeared to be marijuana inside the vehicle. We're told when Appling was handing his identification to one of the tactical response officers, he suddenly put the window up and drove off. Officers pursued him and stopped him about a half a mile later near Appling's house on Detroit's east side, and the Gucci bag they noticed on the passenger side was now gone, a bag containing a gun they think he tossed out of the window during that short chase. Officers went back to the location, uh, tracked the route, found the bag. It did contain a weapon along with some uh, paperwork that did identify the driver as Mr. Appling. Uh, and so he did have some personal belongings in there as well. Well, I don't know all of the facts, but I hope that they would have a video. And if they have a video, we should see an object coming out of the motor vehicle. 
but I don't believe that they have a video that will support that contention. Keith and his attorney suggest the officers are targeting him. There's one prior case involving the identical police officers who stopped Keith uh, yesterday, and uh, that's raised our suspicion as to what the purpose of them uh, coming after Mr. Appling uh, is at this point. So we're definitely concerned about that, and we're going to be looking into that. And we asked why did their client drive off after police stopped him the first time last night. He moved the vehicle to get to, to a better lit area. Right at the spot where this traffic stop happened. Well, there are some curious questions about this. Yeah, we're at this corner of, uh, of State Fair and Orleans where Keith got stopped last night. According to his attorney, who I spoke with this afternoon, the police alleged that he was driving a car with tinted windows, and that's why they pulled him over. It's what happened after the stop here that really got Keith in trouble. Keith Appling was on a path to stardom, a high school basketball standout at Pershing. He went on to star at Michigan State. That was just two years ago. Appling was pulled over again and arrested here at Orleans at East State Fair on Detroit's east side. Elise retraced the path of the chase and found the bag in the street containing pen steel semi-automatic Beretta loaded with 10 live rounds. Now the details of what happened here last night are details from the police report. We have not heard Keith Appling's side of the story yet. For now, he remains in custody. Uh, police still have to present their evidence to the prosecutor. That could happen tomorrow and he'll be arraigned on these charges. Kimberly, Devin, back to you. Well, Steve, is there any indication why he took off? Well, of course, we haven't heard from Keith, but I spoke with his attorney, uh, Cyril Hall, just really about five minutes ago, and he said he wants to make it clear this was not a, a pursuit, this was not running from police. He says it was, let's call it an aggressive conversation between Keith and the police. He felt some fear for his safety, so he wanted to drive, which, according to his attorney, he did at a slow speed to a place here where there were more people around, and then he pulled over, and that's when the rest of the, uh, the arrest happened. Uh, coincidentally enough, his attorney says the two officers last night are the same two officers that pulled him over in June. So he has some questions about that coincidence. So there are lots of questions yet to be answered here. And Another arrest. Good evening. I'm Dave Llewellyn. I'm Anu Prakash. Former Michigan State basketball star Keith Appling is in trouble with the law again tonight. This time, he's accused of being a drug dealer. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat tells us how Appling got caught with heroin. It's a story you'll see only on 7. He's a Detroit native, former Michigan State University basketball standout and a professional player. 28-year-old Keith Appling, a point guard once proud to be in the spotlight, has recently struggled with brushes with the law. Even PD was driving on the street and saw a vehicle weaving in and out of its lane. Um, they pulled it, they pulled the vehicle over and it turned out to be Keith Appling. Prosecutor Eric Smith says a drug sniffing canine then detected something inside the vehicle. It turns out he had a, a significant amount of um, heroin in his car and uh, so we charge him with distribution or selling a 20-year felony smith says the charge reflects the seriousness of this crime prosecutors say at the time of the traffic stop here along to quinder keith appling refused to answer some of their questions and also continued to behave suspiciously mr appling was sweating and shaking and, and appeared very nervous and very uh, unsure and unsteady. We've reached out to an attorney for Appling who's seen here during prior court appearances with him, but so far haven't heard back. The point guard had previously pledged to get his life back on track, but prosecutors say this arrest suggests that didn't happen. Look, I don't know if he's on it, I don't know if he's hooked to it, but boy, I, there, there ain't many people out there that are dealing drugs that, that aren't using them as well. Appling is also charged with operating without a license. He's free after posting a $30,000 bond and due to appear back in court on February 25th for a pretrial conference. For more they say a former Michigan State basketball star is on the run after they say he shot and killed a man in Detroit last night. Investigators say he is armed and dangerous. News 8's Eli August following this investigation for us from the newsroom. Eli, good morning. Hello, Donovan. Police are looking for former MSU point guard Keith Appling. Officers say he shot and killed a man in Detroit around 11 o'clock last night. Police say the shooting stemmed from an argument between Appling and a 66-year-old man. The argument turned physical, and police say Appling shot the 66-year-old several times and killed him. 
Bucks are searching for Keith Appling. As you know, uh, Keith Appling, he was a guard for Michigan State University from 2010 to 2014, and he really did have a very impressive career while playing with Michigan State. And a little bit about that shooting that happened on Saturday night on the city's west side. It happened right around 7 o'clock on Whitcomb Street, and that is where police say Appling got into a verbal argument with a 66-year-old man. Shots were fired. The 66-year-old man ended up dying from his injuries. Now, it is believed that Appling left the area in a tan Buick, and he remains on the run at this hour. Now, Appling does have a lengthy criminal history that includes drugs as well as weapons and resisting arrest charges. Take a listen to what he had to say during his sentencing back in 2017. I know I made some, 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 some mistakes, but I definitely learned from them, and I'm just ready to get my life back on track. And once all this is resolved, Your Honor, I promise you that you will never see my face in the court of law ever again. Medical examiner has confirmed that the victim in this shooting is 66-year-old Clyde Edmonds, a man we've interviewed before here at 7 Action News. We miss you, and we coming for you. I want my sister home. This is Clyde Edmonds speaking to reporter Heather Catalo last year as he fought for guardianship of his sister. The Wayne County Medical Examiner now confirms 66-year-old Clyde Edmonds was the victim of this shooting Saturday night near his home on Detroit's west side, where police have named former MSU basketball star Keith Appling as their main suspect. They say Appling and Edmonds got into a verbal fight that turned physical before Appling fired multiple shots at Edmonds, killing him before speeding off in a tan Buick Regal. Police have not confirmed what led up to the fight or the relationship between Edmonds and Appling. Since ending a professional basketball career, Appling has had multiple run-ins with the law. The same week in February of 2020, when Edmonds' story aired on 7 Action News, Keith Appling was pulled over in Warren, where police found drugs in his car. It turns out he had a, a significant amount of um, heroin in his car, and um, so we charged him with distribution or selling. Past December, Appling ended up with 18 months of probation for that felony that could have landed him 20 years in prison. About three years earlier, he spent a year in jail after multiple different weapons charges, including bringing a loaded assault rifle into a gentleman's club in Dearborn in 2016, and a few months later, he fled police in Detroit, tossing a firearm out the window of his Dodge Charger before they finally pulled him over and he was arrested. He is still on the run tonight. Police say he is considered armed and dangerous. If you have any we'll begin with breaking news. Former Michigan State basketball star Keith Appling has been arrested. Good afternoon, I'm Allie Hoxie. Michigan State Police found him around 1030 this morning on Commerce Park Drive in Chelsea. That's west of Ann Arbor. Investigators say police recovered a gun during the arrest. This ends the manhunt for Appling that began Saturday. Appling is accused of shooting and killing 66 year old Clyde Edwards on Detroit's west side. Seven actually spent a short time in the NBA. After basketball, he had several run ins with the law, which include a year in jail on multiple weapons weapons charges. Again, Keith Appling has been arrested in Chelsea this morning. Make sure you stick with 7 Action News. Second half, Keith Appling was the difference. He, we, we kind of challenged him at halftime that he had to pick up better marble. I've always told Keith Appling, you know, how the head goes, the body follows. And the head wasn't playing real well. You know, he wasn't. And, and uh, you know, you love when you challenge somebody and he responds like that. That, that that's, that's great. I don't have to challenge Keith very often. Tonight was one of those nights. He responded, we were better. Congratulations, this was a great win. Thank you. It's here with Michelle Orlis, you go on an eight nothing run. You personally scored 12 points in the second half, Keith. Tell me about your mindset, because it seemed like once you started shooting, you were making them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, at, at halftime, you know, coach kind of challenged me to put more pressure on the ball and, and just make more things happen defensively. And once I did that, my offense started to come and everything started to flow. And it, it helped us as a team, you know, and, and definitely carried over on both ends of the floor and our energy just picked up and we were able to make some things happen on both ends of the floor. And the fact that this is your last home game here at the Breslin, put that into work. Um, I mean, I'm going to miss this place. You know, we had a, lot of, had a lot of great games here, a lot of great memories. And Keith Appling was on a path to start a high school basketball standout at Persian. He went on to star at Michigan State. That was just two years ago. Last year, Appling played a handful of games for the NBA's Orlando Magic, but that career is likely over. 
with the threat of prison on the horizon.